I want to bring back Peter Weiner from the Ethics and Public Policy Center. Peter, I want to stay on this Russia investigation. In an opinion piece by Michael Gerson in the Washington Post, he wrote about the investigation and said this. In all of this, there is a spectacular accumulation of lies. Lies on disclosure forms, lies at confirmation hearings, lies on Twitter, lies in the White House briefing room, lies to the FBI, self-protective lies by the attorney general blocking and tackling lies by the vice president. This is, with a few exceptions, a group of people for whom truth, political honor, ethics, and integrity mean nothing. Drop the mic. What do you think about that? I think it's exactly right. I mean, Mike's a very close friend of mine. He's a beautiful writer, and he really went to the core of this. I mean, there are particulars that come up uh, in, in this uh, investigation. But when you take everything together, uh, the, the Gerson column is exactly right. This is just a parade of lies. Um, and it doesn't involve just a single individual. It involves a whole phalanx of individuals, a whole large group of individuals. If you take a step back, the thing to uh, understand about this is that all roads lead back to Russia. All the dots connect to Russia. I think that's really the Rosetta Stone of, of the Trump presidency. And to have Robert Mueller uh, look into this is not going to be good news to them. I had a, a conversation not long ago with a very well-known Washington lawyer who's been involved in a lot of scandals and political issues, and he knows Mueller very well. And I said, what do I need to know about Robert Mueller? And he said, there are two things you need to know. The first thing is, if I were innocent, there's nobody I'd rather have than Robert Mueller investigating me. And the second is, if I was guilty, there's no one I'd le not uh, rather not have investigating me than, than Robert Mueller. And I think Mueller's going to get to the to the bottom of this, and it's not going to be good. The Journal, when they made their editorial, one thing they didn't take into account is if Donald Trump and his group unveil everything that's true about Russia, it may in fact be deeply incriminating. I think that's why they're they're trying to hide these things. Well, if they continue to hide it. It will be worse than deeply incriminating. It'll be deeply incriminating with a big fat cover up. All right, Peter, thank you so much. We have to leave it there. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.